Hi, this is our uh, Gantt chart uh, from our pro calendar uh, running in WebDirect. Um, this is a preview. And I, I've put some extra arrows here, um, right over here, to kind of show you what's going on here. So let me show you how WebDirect kind of works out of the box and then a way to make, maybe make this behave a little bit better. So watch what happens when I turn up this arrow. So I'm going to close uh, Dirk Heights here and get rid of all these projects. So let's collapse that. And you can see how it kind of like renders twice, right? You see this first flash and all these arrows, which there's obviously the possibility of an arrow to be on every portal row here. All these arrows show up for a second and then they go away. And uh, let's open it up again. Just look at it one more time. So the arrows on the right are kind of how we did this the first time, and then the arrows on the left are what we're doing now. And I just wanted to show you uh, kind of how we're doing it, which is pretty cool. So if we head over to uh, FileMaker, um, FileMaker down here, um, this is the same layout, and take a look at it. This is what I originally uh, thought we would do, which is just kind of put the arrow here and then use hiding to say whether the particular arrow should be open or not. In this case, is this a phase record? And if it is, is that phase open or closed? This is just using the new hide object when from FileMaker 13, which I love. Um, with these arrows, we've done the same thing. You'll see the same uh, calc down here, but we've gone a little bit further and we've used conditional formatting, uh, format, conditional, um, to just kind of say, hey, if the formula is true, if this is true, then color it gray. Otherwise, as you can see, if we zoom in here, the object is transparent, its, it's color is actually white. So what's happening in WebDirect is WebDirect is gonna render the object kind of as it is, which is this, its natural state, before it applies conditional formatting or hiding. So if you wanna make it look really smooth, have its natural state be clear or transparent or whatever you can do to get it out of the way and then let it appear uh, later. So you can see that in Pro, there's no difference to how this works, right? Pro double buffers, um, so you get a beautiful appearance on both cases. But uh, in WebDirect, if you don't do something like this, you'll get a lot of extra flashing. Now the trade-off is if you do this everywhere, you'll have a lot of invisible objects when you drop in a layout mode, right? When I drop in a layout mode here, we see, you know, these objects aren't even here because they're white. Um, but I think it's a fair trade-off for things that repeat, especially things in portals. Because this just looks kind of raw. Um, and the left-hand side here looks a lot better. So uh, I hope that helps. And uh, I have to say I'm pretty psyched about the way our Gantt chart is uh, looking in WebDirect. This is going to be a, a really interesting release. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks.